you haven't been here before, this is called Agent Marketing Academy. So we do this every two weeks. Um, our last class will be December 14th for the year. And then uh, we'll start some in-person classes next year, I think. Um, correct me if I'm wrong, Elsie, but um, there might be some in-class uh, sessions next year or in person. First, for first quarter, we're going to be staying virtual at this time. So through okay. April right now, and we'll just gauge it as we work through it. There you go. Thanks. Straight, for, straight from the top. Thanks, Cassie. So, but yeah, so we will be doing these uh, in person then, I, or excuse me, Zoom next year as well. But all of this to be said, Agent Marketing Academy is designed to be um, a place where you can come and get some skills, learn about different technologies that can help you grow your uh, real estate practice. And so that's what we're designed to do and help you out with. So today's class, we're going to be talking about custom audiences for Facebook. And it's going to be a very 30,000 foot overview of how to do this. Um, if you've dived into Facebook advertising and you have this all dialed in, this might be more elementary for you, but it's definitely to get you started and give you some good tips on how to structure things. All right, so if you don't know me, my name is Dave Marzinki. Like I said before, I'm with Movement Mortgage. I'm the branch manager for Movement here in Orange County. And we also serve clients uh, all over the country, but our branch specifically helps people in Washington, Oregon, Arizona, Nevada, Texas, Florida, and then we also have some teammates licensed in Louisiana. And so if you have clients moving out, or if you want to take a look at how we might be able to be of service to you, just drop a line here at the contact information below. And also to give you some lending news that just came out this morning, uh, Fannie Mae has raised, uh, published their loan limits for 2022. So uh, for Orange County, the high balance limit is going to be 970800 So we can do a Fannie Mae loan all the way up to 970800 which means you can get 5% down on a million plus home. And then for Riverside and San Bernardino counties, conforming limit is going to go up to 647200 So write those down. I'm sure you're going to see that all over social media today and uh, email as well. But those new loan limits are published and those are in effect now or this weekend. And so anything that's locked on Monday, December 6th going forward, we'll be able to take advantage of those higher loan limits. All right, so we're gonna go through basically describing what a custom audience is, why you wanna use custom audiences and why they're so critical to success on Facebook, um, how, they, how you should create them, how to set them up uh, with your, uh, ads manager, and then how you can use those custom audiences to generate referrals and leads. And then we'll show you some best case practices as well. So like I said, if you have any questions at all, jump in, unmute yourself, ask away, and then we can make this as interactive as possible. All right, so basically a custom audience is a targeting tool that allows you to show your content to the people that you wanna show your content to. And so you can use specific things either within Facebook or data that's outside of Facebook that you upload where that allows you to target those individuals and show your content only to that group. And then you can create lookalike groups off of that. Let's see here. And if anybody's not muted, go ahead and mute yourself too, if you don't mind. So great quote here from Seth Godin is frequency leads to awareness, awareness to familiarity and familiar, familiarity to trust and trust almost without exception leads to profit. So boil this down, consistency and being in front of people on a consistent basis leads you to being top of mind, helps people get to know you and then like you and trust you and then feel comfortable with working with you. And that's what we want, right? Facebook is another offshoot of our marketing strategy and using Facebook to help with your marketing and branding is definitely key to your success right now. So why do you wanna use a custom audience, right? Using custom audiences are very critical with the fact that it can increase your response to your, your content and your engagement. It leads to better quality leads because you are defining your target market. It's not just a general advertisement out to the masses. And through that, you can grow and repeat referral business because as you continue to grow and get more referrals in and more leads in, you can add that in and then Facebook will learn and you 
You can also update your information so that your custom audiences will you know, get more fine tuned and you're getting in front of the ideal client. And then you can create brand recall, right? Be top of mind amongst either past clients or your uh, target markets that you're going after. Make sense? All right. So there's four types of custom audiences within Facebook. So you have website custom audiences. So this is people that have visited your website uh, offline, either your landing page or your uh, personal website. Two, you have engagement custom audiences. So people that have engaged with your content, either watch videos on your Facebook page or made comments or likes or anything that's called engagement with your um, content that you've uploaded. Number three is your customer list. So you can upload a past client list or your um, sphere of influence list. And that's you know anything out of your CRM or if you have a spreadsheet and then also your app. So the app part is not really relevant for us in our discussion. So we're just gonna focus on the top three here. All right, so a website custom audience is basically targeting anybody that's gone to your website. And in order to do that, you need to have your Facebook pixel installed on that website. So your pixel, if you don't know, is all of that is is just a simple couple lines of code that you get with your Facebook ads account. So if you're advertising on Facebook, then you have an ads account, and then you can grab that code from that ads account, that pixel code, and then either install it on your website or have whoever you help, have, helps you with your technology, have them install it on your website. So that way, if you're driving people to do information and content on your landing page or your website, then Facebook's gonna pick up that information of those visitors. And then you can use that data to create a custom audience within Facebook to market towards those individuals. So if you've ever been online before and you've gone and searched something on Google and gone to a website, and then you go on Facebook and you start seeing that advertisements for that same product or same company on your newsfeed on Facebook, that's what they're doing. They're using pixels and uh, custom audiences to target people that have visited their websites. And then engagement custom audiences here, these are people like we talked about, this has done anything that's engaged with any of your content on Facebook or Instagram, okay? Because Facebook owns Instagram now, so if you have a business account on Instagram, it's gonna pull data from that as well as from your Facebook account. Some of the types of engagement, video views. Now you can create a custom audience, and we'll get into this in a second, um, with people that have either watched 10 seconds of your video, 30 seconds of your video, so they don't have to watch the entire video. So you can set those parameters on your target audience. Your page engagement, like we talked about, any likes, follows, or comments, and this applies to your Instagram profile as well as your Facebook business page. Anybody that's filled out a lead form, so if you've ran advertisements using the lead forms, and we do have a class about that, so I think we covered that two weeks ago, or two classes ago, so that'd be a month ago. But anybody that's filled out a lead form and gone in to ask for information from you through that lead form, you can use that. Or anybody like if that has responded to an event. So if you've created an open house event or any type of you know community event, then people that have engaged with that or responded to that, Facebook will grab that information for you as well. Now your customer list, this is pretty self-explanatory, but there's some things that you need to keep in mind when you are developing this list. So this is anybody that you have in your sphere of influence or past clients, and you have to have particular identifiers for this to work. So in your data set, you need to make sure that you have at least an email address. That's key. First is email address, because everybody uses the email address to create their account on Facebook. And then phone numbers are great. And then home address or business address, and then first and last name. So Facebook will use as many identifiers as it can in order to find people and match those people up so that it can show your content in their news feeds and develop that, those push those ads out to those people. So the more data that you have and the more identifiers that you have, the better and more consistent your results are gonna be. All right, we've got a couple of people in the waiting room, so let me. Jump in there. All 
All right, and this is being recorded, you guys. So if you missed the first part of it, this will be sent out. The recording will be sent out to you. And we do have a custom giveaway that I'm going to be sending to Elsie for her to send out to everybody as well. And you'll get that in the next 24 to 72 hours as soon as it gets sent out from the board. And if anybody has any questions on any of this, jump in right now. Feel free to ask away. So. Lon, do you have a question? Oh, thought I saw your hand raised there. All right, so let's look at the types of custom audiences that real estate agents should be doing or thinking about doing. Let me minimize this real quick here. All right, so with website visitors as a custom audience targeting option, people that have visited your landing page look at featured listings or just solds or your virtual tours or any lead, lead opt-in forms. Any of these things, definitely want to make sure that you're installing your pixels on these types of um, sites, whether you have a separate landing page for these things or if it's all just on your personal web page. But again, if you're spending the money or you're spending the effort to drive people to those pages so that you can get eyeballs on those websites, then you want to make sure you're using your Facebook pixel to capture the advantage of being able to go back and retarget content towards those people on Facebook. So these are key things that you should be thinking about as far as if you have any type of website, any type of landing page, making sure that Facebook, Facebook pixels installed on that. And then two, if you have video views, and we all know that video is king, right? That's everybody's been grilled into our heads that we need to be making sure we use video. So Live videos that you've done, if you've done it, ever done a Facebook live video, anybody that's engaged with that, Facebook will grab that information. Any listing videos that you've uploaded, neighborhood videos, if you're doing real estate tips, educational content, community videos with local business highlights, or if you have any client testimonials or market updates or any event videos, all of this information making sure that you're uploading that to Facebook so that you can get engagement with it. And then you can go back and grab people that have engaged with those videos and remarket to them. So but these are definitely, this is definitely content that you wanna be using on a consistent basis on Facebook to generate those lists. And then if you have an Instagram profile, um, which you should have a business profile on Instagram, you know, Anybody that's engaged with your stories, anybody that's engaged with your posts, anybody that's engaged, if you're using IGTV, all that can be used to create custom audiences. So keep that in mind as well. And we do have a class on Instagram, which will definitely be at the beginning of next year. So keep an eye out for that. And like we talked about, your client list, sphere of influence. Now, if you have, if you're doing any farming, then you should be also doing digital farming instead of just geographic farming with direct mail or you know that type of content. So if you're doing digital farming, you can grab those lists from your title rep. And they, a lot of title reps will be able to generate for you lists with phone numbers and emails for your title, your specific area that you want to farm. And then you can create a digital farm on Facebook by developing a custom audience for that. This is probably one of the most successful ways that people are using custom audiences strictly from a standpoint that you can hit them with information directly on Facebook, and you can also do the direct mail piece. And so you've got different pieces of content coming at them to keep you fake, um, top of mind, to bring content to them, and to drive engagement so that when they're ready and when they're willing to take a look at real estate decisions, that they come and talk to you. And if you've done any lead generation through Zillow, Realtor.com, any of those, <clears throat> excuse me, any of those sites, and you've developed a database of leads from that, no matter how dead you think that list is, there's business in those lists, right? So take those lists and upload those as custom audiences as well, because that's going to drive uh, engagement with your content and 
perhaps, you know, the timing might be right where you're going to be putting yourself in front of somebody that's ready to make a decision, either buying or selling. So. All right, so let's get into how we do this, right? So first off, you definitely need to make sure you have a Facebook business page. So if you don't, then reach out to me and schedule some time one-on-one. -on -one. We can get you set up on getting your Facebook business page set up. But assuming you have a Facebook business page, then you're gonna go into your ads manager and you're gonna create a custom audience, right? With your data set, right? So this is gonna be creating a custom audience with your customer data. So something that you're providing Facebook. And so you need to have this in a CSV file, which is basically just a format in Excel and make sure that you have that saved. And these are all the identifiers that you see here. So email addresses, phone numbers, uh, first name, last name, zip codes, city, country, county, date of birth, gender, age. If they have a Facebook user ID, they're probably not gonna be able to get that, right? But this general information using these identifiers, that's what Facebook's gonna use. So you wanna have that in your data. And then you upload that in on your uh, ads manager site, you're gonna upload that directly to Facebook. And then once that goes through there, it's gonna ask you to save and name that audience. And then you're gonna be able, always be able to have that audience. So when you create an ad, you can target that specific audience. All right, we'll go into how do we set up some other custom audiences. Right. So as we talked about, we talked about making sure that you have an ads manager or a business manager. So Facebook keeps changing the title of it, but it's basically the same thing. So where you're gonna oversee and manage your content for your advertising on your business page. And setting up your business manager, you can manage the permissions for everything that's connected through Facebook. And you can also link your Instagram profile, your business profile has to be your Instagram business profile. You can link that into your business manager as well. And if you haven't run ads before, then you'll have to go through this step in creating a new ad account. So once you're in your ad account here, basically these are the shortcuts that you have and you have this one called audiences right here. And that's the one you're gonna to wanna to select. So what Facebook does is we can first of all, go to create a custom audience or click create audience. And then you have custom audiences or lookalike audiences. So if you already have audiences created in your ads manager, then you can create lookalike audiences that Facebook will use the data set that's in there and they will go out and find people that they think will match those people that are in that data set and then advertise towards those people as well. So if you have, your past client list, that's gonna be something that you wanna create a lookalike audience for because that'll just go out and Facebook will use all those identifiers and the profiles of those people that are on Facebook to go out and advertise towards people that might fit those demographics or similarities. So then we're gonna click um, choose custom audience. And the next thing we're gonna do is we wanna make sure we select our source for our audience, right? So you're, like we talked about, we identified those top three that already. So we have our website visitors, we have our video, and then we have our own content. Okay, so you have your sources through your website or your customer list. Those are the two main things. Or Facebook sources, which is any videos, anybody that's engaged with video that you've posted, lead forums, your instant experiences, your business profile on, on Instagram, your events, or your Facebook page. So anybody that's even liked one thing on any of those pieces of information there, that content, Facebook's gonna grab that person and put it in your custom audience. All right, so we talked about this already, but again, just to repeat, the, the Facebook pixel, if you have a website that you're very active with that you're driving people to or a landing page, like a just sold landing page or, you know, the CMA page where somebody can get their home value. Wherever you're driving traffic through, you want to make sure you install your pixel. So how do we find our Facebook pixel, right? So we're going to go into our 
ads, our business manager account. And at the top left, you should be see something called the events manager. And definitely click on that. And then you're going to click the get started button. Okay. And it's going to have these data sources here. The first one is going to be the Facebook pixel. And you want to click get started on that on the right hand side. And then you're going to have two choices, right? You're going to be able to manually add pixel code to your website. So if you're tech savvy and you know how to do all that, you can do this yourself. Or what most people are going to do is you're going to grab email instructions and send that to your website developer and ask them to add the pixel to your website. So that's, whoops. So that's that third one down here. Sorry, I thought I saw a question pop up here. All right, and now if you're gonna do it yourself manually, you're gonna click on that. Facebook's gonna give you this code, which is your pixel. You're just gonna cut and paste that code and then go and install it on your website, All right? Or grab the email information, send it over to Mr. Website Developer, say, please add this in. And they're gonna be very familiar with it and say, no problem, let me get it taken care of for you. Any questions on that? Easy peasy, right? Okay, we'll move on then. If you have a question and don't want to unmute yourself, you can always drop it in the chat window as well. Now, once your Facebook pixel is installed, there's an easy way to confirm that it's working correctly, right? The Facebook Pixel Helper is a free Chrome extension that you can add into your um, Chrome on your desktop, right? And it goes in and it will read the pixels that you load on your website or your other landing pages. So you want to Google Facebook Pixel Helper, and then you add that extension under your Chrome browser, right? And this helpful tool will scan every site that you visit on the internet and give you a summary of the pixels that are on that page. So you can see where you're being tracked as well, if you want to have that information. All right, so to go ahead and install the Facebook Pixel Helper, basically you're going to go to chrome.google.com, search Facebook Pixel Helper, and then you're going to click this Add to Chrome button right here, very easy, and then it'll add it in for you. And then when you visit a website that has a Facebook Pixel, installed, which will be represented by the blue um, symbol with the less than and greater sign symbol, the icon there. In your browser, the icon is going to turn blue in your browser. So that'll alert you that there's going to be a Facebook, a Facebook pixel that's installed on that website. So to go to your website, you want to make sure that that icon turns blue. So that tells you that it's working. All right, so let's look at how to set up a custom audience for video views, okay? I think this is gonna be probably one of the more popular ones that people look at because video, video is king and video content is what everybody's trying to upload to Facebook and Instagram. So this will be very helpful for you. All right, so we're gonna go back to our business manager, select audiences and select create a custom audience. And then we're going to go in here to videos, right? We're going to click on that under use Facebook sources. And there you're going to be able to select this drop down, right? So you have anybody that's watched three seconds of your video, 10 seconds, or 25, 50, 75, or 95% of your videos. So those will be the choices that you get to pick. I would probably pick anybody that's engaged with at least 10 seconds of your video. So, cause you want to target as many people as possible, right? And then step three at the top from the drop down menu, you can choose the video source. So it's going to have a library of all the videos that you've uploaded. And then you're going to want to choose the video source and you can choose multiple videos on this, right? So you can choose just one or multiple videos that you want to build your custom audience from. So go in and select that source, right? 
once you've chosen the video, you want to enter the number of days you want people to stay in your custom audience after the view, after they view your video content. So they viewed your video today. How many more days from now do you want them to stay in your custom audience? The maximum is 365 days. So you can make that selection, right? Then you add an audience name for that, and then you're off and running, right? And as we also mentioned, we can create a custom audience for people that have engaged with your business profile on an Instagram. And in, in doing so, it's the same thing. We go into the audiences. We're going to select Instagram business profile under Facebook sources. And then we can go in here and make some choices on how we want to do that. So anybody who's visited your profile, anybody who's engaged with a post or an ad, people who have sent a message to your business profile, et cetera, et cetera. And then you go in, name your audience, and then you click that blue button called create audience. And then this is gonna tell you that your custom audience was created. And then if you wanna immediately create a lookalike audience off of that, you can. And then you can create an ad right away too, so. Facebook makes it wizards, you know, pretty self-explanatory. So you can walk along and just follow step by step, but you know, just making sure that you get started on correct, selecting the right sources on what you're using for your custom audiences. And then if you're going to create an ad off of this, the next step is to go in and you click on create ad. It's going to give you three different types of ads that you can have, whether it's an awareness ad, a consideration ad, or a conversion ad. And so engagement is probably the one that you're gonna definitely want to choose just from the standpoint that you're looking for people that have engaged with content. Um, that's what you're using to develop your audience, people that have engaged with your Instagram business profile in this example. And so that's the ad that, or ad, topic or ad form that we want to make sure that we can select on this. Up here though, at the top, you're definitely going to want to make sure that you do the special housing or special ad category, which is housing for real estate agents um, because of the fact that Facebook will not approve your ads unless you select that because if you're dealing with anything with real estate, you want to make sure that you select that special ad category or you'll have a hard time getting your ads published. Right, so you use your Instagram test one, you created the custom audience, and then that'll generate that ad for you and get it published. All right, so we're gonna be looking at a couple of Facebook ads that you might wanna run with your custom audiences. Okay, these are just general ideas to get you started. And if you wanna kind of deep dive into this, then I'd be happy to sit down with you one-on-one -on -one and we can go over that. All right, so if you're gonna drive people to your website where your Facebook pixels installed, some of the great ads here are, you know, lists of homes under a certain dollar figure or homes similar to this home. So those are types of ads. Anybody that, you know, if you wanna use a lead capture form and then we retarget them on Facebook. So I'll walk you step-by-step -step through this, right? Oops, let me back up. So we have the ad here, has the title. Okay, click here to view lists of homes under X amount of dollars. That's pictures of the house. So they click on learn more. It's going to take them over to a landing page where your pixel's installed. It's going to ask them to fill out information. So email address, contact information. And then you're going to be able to retarget that. So show ads featuring similar homes offer. You're going to go back and retarget off people that have viewed this information here. So that's how that all works. And then with video ads, uh, you have a lot of different options on that. So one of the cool things that Facebook does is allows you to be pretty creative with your video advertising. So, and they have this thing called instant experience. So you probably wanna check that out more, but it's basically anybody that's on a mobile device you know, their iPhone or their Android or whatever, they can swipe up on that and then it'll create a full screen ad on their phone. So it'll get rid of the face, the newsfeed 
and they'll basically be able to see a full screen ad on their phone and have more of a richer experience on that video content or those posts, whether it's a picture or a video. So you have different templates that you can use that Facebook provides for this instant experience ad, right? So you have images, videos, text, links, anything that you wanna create on it. And then in addition to ad templates that make you easy to get started, you can also upload your images and videos and create a slideshow on this, right? So there's all different ways that you can get creative with your content on Facebook. You just have to go in and play around with it and see what works best for you and what you feel comfortable with. So some of the ads that um, you can use for past clients or your sphere of influence is, you know, more educational content, right? Get people to move off the fence about, you know, whether they're wanting to buy or sell. Now, you can also use video ads for different objectives, right? For brand awareness, showing community videos, any real estate education, like real estate tips, you know, things to look out for in your purchase contract, all those different things that you want to develop, or if you're doing an open house virtual tour kind of thing. So here's an example of a static image ad um, that can be animated for you know, developing a list of homes. So if you wanna show something that kind of looks like a virtual tour, but it's just basically an animated uh, set of uh, videos, it's easy to use, uh, easy to create using Facebook's templates, okay? So you just do that and you can design all this just using static images. You can design this right within Facebook. And then they click on that, download the list today. All right, so you can, you, you can run Instagram or Facebook story ads to any custom audience to drive awareness for your open house of virtual tours. So, you know, as we all know, stories are probably the most popular thing that's on Facebook and Instagram right now because people go to those first, right? And you can add multiple images or videos within those stories. And so you can create ads and then target those to your uh, custom audience. If you're advertising an open house, advertising a virtual tour, whatever you might want to do. So there's additional training that's available to you on Facebook, right? For everything, Facebook ads, Facebook pixel, all of that. And it's called Facebook Blueprint, right? There's an entire library of free self-paced courses that'll help you learn about this if you want to take this on yourself. You know, a lot of people will have somebody that helps them with this and just they just say run with it. But some people want to know that information on for their set for themselves and actually engage with it and do it themselves. So that's available to you. You can check out Facebook Blueprint. And like I mentioned earlier, you get a gift for attending today. So we have our ultimate guide to Facebook custom audiences. So I'm going to get that over to Elsie. She's going to send that out to everybody here. And that's going to be our free gift for you for attending. So we definitely appreciate that and hope you guys found this valuable and this content helpful so that you can grow your business using custom audiences. This is the fastest way to have success on Facebook is to develop these custom audiences if you're going to use this as a part of your marketing platform. So hope you guys have a great day today. I'll stick around if there's any questions and feel free to dive in. Jeffrey had a question. Where do I find the prospects from the pixels? So Facebook does that for you when you go in and um, create your custom audience from that uh, Facebook pixel. So it's a, you have a pixel ID, and then you can go in and ask Facebook to create a custom audience for that. So but there's not a list of prospects that you're going to print all that information because the main thing they're capturing is just their... Um, there's like a 
code that they capture that when they go to the website, that's what they're capturing. So it's not like there's specific names or you know email addresses or anything like that. Thank you, Dave. You're welcome, Cassie. Have a good one.